let the Hunger Games commence. Today I thought I'd try something different. I was in Audi last night and I found these. Some blue eggs. Um, they're not exactly blue. Um, well, they are tinted blue. But yeah, I made myself some poached eggs, um, avocado and bacon for this morning's breakfast. In today's video, I'm gonna be teaming up with um, two other YouTubers, Andy and Ben. Ben has a channel called This Messy Happy and Andy has a channel called The Fod Runner, Forest of Dean Runner. Um, you may have heard of them. Um, they do the same sort of thing here on YouTube, make running videos. In today's video, we're going to be sharing our favourite sessions. I believe we're going to be starting with Ben's today. If you do enjoy this video, please leave a like. Um, check out the other guys' videos. I'll leave a link to their channels, the videos, down in the description. Um, yeah, it should be a fun one, a nice collaboration between fellow YouTubers. Um, I'm looking forward to this one. I'm just about to jump on a Zoom call now with the boys. Um, ben has just recently moved to Thailand, so... We're doing a nice early um, early Zoom meeting so that we can be on the same sort of time frame as him. I believe it's about 4.30 in the afternoon for him. It's 9.30 here in the UK for me and Andy. Um, but yeah, excited to, to start this collaboration and hopefully work with more um, small creators just like these guys in the future. Hello. Yeah, good, thank you. Can you see me all right? No, can't see you, can hear you. Not see me yet. Okay, no worries. Yeah. Camera on, but if zoom is with you. There we go. Yep. How's it going? Hey! To the next one. Am I the right way round, by the way? Um, no. <laughs> you two are portrait and I'm landscape. Am I wrong? Yeah, you seem to be on, on the wrong. Am I getting there? Hold on. You're almost there. Way. Yeah, that's yeah, better. Okay, right. Well, wrong way, but I'll turn the phone around. That's fine. It just dawned on me last night that of the three of us doing this session, I'm the slowest. I'm like, it's, uh, and that's <laughs> I, don't, I think you'll be surprised. Like, <laughs> I'm not super fast, but like that's not usual. Now I'm the slowest, and you two are the fastest. So uh, oh, enjoy right. the session. Yeah, you'll that's going to be, be good. Surprised, mate. You'll be surprised. I think you'll find Ben will blow us both out. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Um, I'm going to unplug my laptop now that we're all here. I'm going to go out. I was going to see. I'm, I was going to be smug and take it out onto the balcony, although. Smug, smug turns into not very smug very quickly out here when it's about 35 degrees. Oh wow, uh, sod off, it's like 5 degrees yeah. here. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually scared, I was saying to Ben earlier, that what, I have to remember that I'm in a country that feels like it's 44 degrees all of the time, so anything that really hurts, like really hurts. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm playing the game where I'm, I'm trying to give you a good session that I'm hoping that you'll like but at the same time doesn't destroy any of us. And it is good for whatever distance that we're doing as well, I think. So it's one of my one of my favourite sessions. Are you ready for this? Let's go for it, yeah. Hit us with it. Okay. It is obviously a warm-up of your choice. Not going to prescribe that. That can be yours. Then, and you can do this. I've done this on the track. I've done it on a beach. And I've just done it on roads. You can do it anywhere. As long as you've got your GPS watch. It is one 800 metres at sub 5k pace with okay. and then a 200 meter walk then and then you don't stop you literally go 800 200 meter walk then yep. two lots of 600 meters with a 200 meter walk same pace then, same pace yeah three lots of 400 meters probably a bit fast but maybe like 1500 meter pace yeah with a 200 meter walk four lots of 300 with a 100 meter walk and five lots of 200 with a 100 meter walk. But the key here is not to push. Don't destroy yourself. That's the key. The game is. That's a lot of speed. Fatigue. Sounds like a good one. <laughs> this is going to be good. That sounds like it's going to be very, very painful. Yeah, so how are you feeling about it? What are we thinking? Track, road? It's going to have to be road for me, um, but it's going to fit in perfectly with my speed training at the moment because I'm doing this style of work on a Tuesday already, so I'm going to make this next week's workout. And, yeah, it's different to what I've been doing, so I can't wait. 
Yeah, sounds good to me. I think I'm going to do it in the, the local park down the road. Um, it's about an 800 metre lap in the park. Um, I do have to navigate a car park, um, but other than that, it's a pretty good loop. Um, but yeah, excited to give it a go. Nice, good speed session. Should be a good look, sort of like speed sharpening session for, for probably 5, 10k distance, would you say? I think so, yeah. I think it's beneficial for any distance, but the lower, the lower distances, definitely. Yeah, yeah, them 200 metre re reps at the end are, are going to be fun. Good luck, fellas. Let's go for it. Okay, so I just got down to my local park, which is where I'm going to be doing um, the workout today. Sort of an 800 meter loop here. Um, there's a nice path that runs all the way around. Um, and I'm going to be doing Ben's workout today. So just to recap, it's one times 800 meters, two times 600, three times 400. Then it goes to four times 300 and five times 200 to finish. So, the reps get shorter as the workout progresses, but the number of reps increases. Um, so yeah, it should be a good one. Starting with that 800 meters at 5K pace, working down to 200 meters, which I believe are sort of pretty much all out efforts. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to getting this one done. And then we've got either a 200 meter walk or a 100 meter walk um, in between the reps. So yeah, it's gonna be a good one. Just doing my 2K warm up that I like to do before the sessions and then we're going to get right into it. So I've programmed today's workout into my watch um, using the Garmin Connect app. I've got a Garmin 4Runner 735 is the model of my watch and I like to put all my workouts into my watch so I don't have to remember them as I'm running um, and it basically tells me when to run, when to rest um, so it just keeps track of all my, um, all the reps make sure I get the right distance, the right amount of recovery. And yeah, it beeps every time I need to run and I need to walk. So yeah, it's really handy. I'd make a separate video on how I use that setting um, for my workouts. It's really handy if you're doing sessions on your own like I am today. Um, but yeah, I've done about two and a half kilometers of warm up. Just gonna navigate this car park here. And then yeah, gonna get into the first rep, 800 meters at around 5k pace. So here we go, just gonna press lap and then we're off. Three, two, one. Run 800 meters, let the Hunger Games commence. go first 800 meters done now for a 200 meter walk then we're on to two times 600 Whew. doing today's workout in the Socony endorphin speed twos first time I've sort of used these shoes for interval workout so yeah it'll be interesting to see how these get on I've got 40 meters left of recovery and then I'm into these 600 reps um, the way I'm sort of going to do the session is I'm going to try and progressively get quicker as the reps get shorter. Um, I believe that's what Ben said to do. So yeah, we've got 20 meters and then we're into the 600 meter reps. Right, here we go. Two, one, and here we go. Okay, so I've just finished the second 600 meter rep. I've um, got the 400s to go next, so three times 400 meters. Let's see how the other guys are getting on. All right, 600 to come. Are we ready? I'm not. 600s. I went out way too hard. <laughs> oh, Rayner, what are you doing? 235. 235 for that 800. That was suicidal. I'm just coming to the end of my 200 meter walk. I'm ready to start the 400 meter reps. Just waiting for the watch. There it goes. So these are around 1500 meter pace. Here we go. 400 meters, rep number one. Just finished the last 400 meter rep. That's the longer 
reps done. So I've done the 800s, the 600s and the 400s. Now this is where the fun starts. We've got four times 300 and five times 200 to finish with only 100 meter walks. Um, so this is my last 200 meter walk. Before I start the 300 meter reps and things start to get pretty painful and anaerobic. This last bit of the workout has been a bit of a blur. I've got three 200 meter reps left, um, reducing the recoveries to 100 meters walk. So half in the recovery is really making it difficult. Um, yeah, three to go. Let's get it done. I'm gonna go this way, I think. Give myself the best opportunity to run fast. Right, here we go. Three to go. Here we go. 200 meters, push. Nearly got attacked by a dog. Oh, Mr. Ben from this messy happy. That was one brutal workout. Enjoyed that one. Over the next few weeks, we're gonna do Andy's favorite workout and my favorite workout. So yeah, the pain you put me through there, expect a whole lot of pain when it comes to my week and my workout. Oh, that's the 100 meters done, 100 meters walk done, and now the cool down. Two kilometers jog. Uh, another session banked. Let's head back to the house and find out how the other guys got on. Woo! Good hey, morning. morning. You right, guys? Hey, hi, mate. Yeah, good. Thank you. Nice to hey, see you too, you. as well, Mary. Yeah, hi. Good to you see you. Thought you joined the chat. I, I made Mary come in because I made her do the session. It was only fair that she wrapped oh, up. She did it as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Promise me this conversation would be less painful than the session was. So. Oh yeah. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Ben, you just did yours the most recently. How did yours go? Yeah, really well, thank you. I did mine yesterday in the park. Um, yeah, really good session. Enjoyed it. I like the fact that the reps got shorter, but I wasn't so keen on the, the number of reps getting longer as the session progressed. Um, yeah, it certainly made it for a, for a tough one. Yeah, I think so. Andy, how'd you get on? Yeah, I did exactly what I shouldn't have done, which is go out stupidly hard in the first 800, and then that made the session just so much more harder than it needed to be. And like Ben said... It was nice that the reps got quicker, because uh, uh, shorter, because I was thinking to myself, it's all right, there's only four inches to go, there's only three inches to go, but then the, the volume of them went up, so it was just a case of hanging on for dear life at the end. I think Mary actually put more effort in than me. I, I, I was nursing a sore Achilles, and when I looked at my times, I did feel like, I felt in the moment I was giving it everything, but when I looked at my times, I was like, I've done this session before, I know I've done it a bit faster, so perhaps I was in self-preservation mode a little bit um still hurt no doubt about that uh, but I, I think you went harder than i did yeah it worked out quite well for me but um i was probably walking pretty slowly on my recovery yeah. just to make them last as long as possible i was doing exactly yeah, the same definitely uh, but doing an 800 at the beginning felt pretty brutal but then it was nice mentally knowing you're running for less distance and i think it pushed you because you were doing more repetitions, trying to hold the pace you'd done on the first one um, was really good, kind of, to push yourself. So it was probably my favourite session I've done in a while. Yeah, did you both feel like you ran fast in it, like you good speeds? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I ended up hitting some good speeds, cutting the pace down slightly, but it was, it hurt, it really hurt. <laughs> yeah. I was the same. Yeah, I started off at sort of 5k pace, like you said, for that 800 meter rep. And then because the, the reps got shorter, I was like, I've got to get faster every single time. So yeah, I tried to do it as sort of a progression workout. Um, so with, with the reps getting shorter in distance, I tried to pick up the pace. And when I got to the 200 meters, I was just flat out sprinting in the park and people were looking at me like, what is this guy do <laughs> doing? Especially with a camera in my hand as well. Yeah, I got some, got some funny looks. It's a good rep. It was a good workout. I've not done a cut down workout like that in like years so it was a real good refresher for me like I said the reps getting longer it made it tough at the end but I've got to say that was fair play to you that was a good first challenge yeah definitely glad you liked it I'm now I, I promise you whoever goes next I will give you everything I've got no doubt about it 
And it's worth saying, actually, if anyone's watching this, anyone watches it from my channel, the point of this is to show everyone that we are genuinely friends and we support each other. And we will, we will, I want people who are watching my channel to go and subscribe to you two and make this a whole global running thing. So um, it's just worth mentioning we don't hate each other. No. Even though we've done this to each other. Yeah. Definitely. Not at the moment, anyway. It's collaboration, isn't it? Bringing everyone together, get all the YouTube channels talking to each other, challenging each other, having a bit of fun and bringing the community a little bit closer. 100%. So there we go, we just finished our Zoom meeting there. Ben and Mary in Thailand, Andy in near the Forest of Dean where he's based, and me down here in the lovely sunny Essex. Um, really enjoyed that collaboration with the guys. We've got two more parts um, coming up over the next few months, so stay tuned for those. Hopefully we can encourage some other YouTubers, YouTube runners. We've got Ben Parks, Kofuzi, Ed Budd, 40 Runs. If any of you are watching this and you'd like to get involved, then yeah, drop us a message and we, we'll see if we'll let you into Jog Squad. Um, yeah, really, really enjoyed that one. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Make sure you go and check out Andy's video and Ben and Mary's video. I'll leave a link in the first line of the description um, and there'll be the end screens at the end of this video so you can go click on them straight after this one. Um, but yeah, really, really enjoyed that session. It was brutal. Um, I managed to get quicker and quicker and quicker. If you want to check out my splits, you can do that on Strava. Uh, ben Felton, again, that will be linked down below. But yeah, thanks for watching. Aspire to run and run to inspire and we'll see you with another part two in about a month's time. Thank you very much.